North and South Korea to meet for first peace talks in two years and bid to end nuclear crisis. North and South Korea will hold official talks next week for the first time in more than two years after Pyongyang accepted Seoul's offer for dialogue, just hours after the United States and South Korea delayed a joint military exercise. The South's unification ministry said North Korea had sent its consent for the talks to be held on 9 January in a statement at 1.16 a.m. GMT. The last time the two Koreas engaged in official talks was in December 2015. The talks will be held at the border truce village of Panmunjom and officials from both sides are expected to discuss the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics and the improvement of inter-Korean relations, ministry spokesman Baek Taehyun told a regular briefing. North Korea asked for further negotiations regarding the meeting to be carried out via documented exchanges, Baek said. The officials to represent the two Koreas have yet to be confirmed. Japan's defense minister on Friday sounded a note of caution about the talks, saying North Korea would continue developing its weapons program and Tokyo would remain vigilant. I think what is important is to maintain a firm defense posture, Japanese defense minister Tsunori Onodoro told a press conference in Tokyo. North Korea goes through phases of apparent dialogue and provocation but either way, North Korea is continuing its nuclear and missile development. We have no intention of weakening our warning and surveillance activity. Baek also said there was no change to South Korea's stance that efforts aimed at the denuclearization of North Korea should be continued, while Seoul would engage Pyongyang as it keeps close communications with the United States and allies. But China's foreign ministry applauded news of possible talks between the rival Koreas. We welcomed the recent positive turn of events in the peninsular situation, spokesman Zheng Shang said at a regular briefing. Zheng expressed hope all relevant parties would take advantage of the games to bring the issue back to the correct track of peaceful settlement through dialogue and consultation. North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un opened the way for talks with South Korea in a New Year's Day speech in which he called for reduced tensions on the Korean peninsula and flagged the North's possible participation in the Winter Olympics. Kim remained steadfast on the issue of nuclear weapons, however, saying the North would mass-produce nuclear missiles for operational deployment and again warned he would launch a nuclear strike if his country was threatened. U.S. President Donald Trump and his South Korean counterpart Moon Jae-in announced late on Thursday that annual large-scale military drills usually held in spring would now take place after the Winter Olympics scheduled for February in Pyeongchang. The key resolve in full legal exercises are drills conducted regularly to maintain readiness on the peninsula, according to a statement from the U.S. Forces Korea, which added new dates for the exercise would be announced later. The North sees these drills as exercises for a possible invasion. South Korea and the United States are technically still at war with North Korea after the 1950-53 Korean conflict ended with a truce, not a peace treaty. Trump had earlier called the proposed inter-Korean talks a good thing and that he would send a high-level delegation, including members of his family, to the Winter Olympics, according to South Korea's presidential office. In a tweet, Trump, who hurled fresh insults at the North Korean leader this week, took credit for any dialogue. Does anybody really believe that talks and dialogue would be going on between North and South Korea right now if I wasn't firm, strong and willing to commit our total might against the North? Trump tweeted. The ramped-up momentum for inter-Korean dialogue follows a year of missile and nuclear tests by North Korea as well as an exchange of bellicose comments from Trump and Kim, which raised alarm across the world. Earlier this week, Nikki Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations said Washington was hearing reports that Pyongyang might be preparing to fire another missile. South Korea's defense ministry has said they have yet to see any evidence of an imminent missile launch but there is always a chance North Korea could test missiles at any time. Analysts with the website 38 North, which tracks North Korea, reported Pyongyang may be preparing to test the rocket engine at a facility in Sohai, North Pyongyang province where all of the North's satellite launches have taken place since 2012. Commercial satellite imagery from the 25th of December showed a rail-mounted environment shelter had been moved away from a test stand, indicating that an engine test may happen in the near future, the website said, rather than a new rocket launch suspected in recent media reports.